for the longest time, we were just no-till barley farmers and doing really well at it and we're really happy. It's a beautiful country for potatoes and so it's kind of always been a part of the farm. But we've never raised potatoes on our own but always had an interest in it. I'm Jordan Hamilton. I'm a fourth generation farmer with my brother Logan and my mom and dad. We run what we call Hamilton Triple C and we're farming around 6,000 acres of wheat and barley and potatoes here in Ryrie and Swan Valley, Southeast Idaho. In all our meetings, when we were talking and making this transition to start growing potatoes, the most daunting thing was trying to figure out how we were going to pay for everything and how to make everything work. It required three new tractors, um, a new sprayer, row crop sprayer. We had to get pilers, a couple pilers, uh, a few conveyors in order to move those spuds, an eliminator, uh, just a place to sort the potatoes, ten new trucks, we call them 10-wheelers, uh, three new semi-beds, so it was, there's a lot that goes into just transitioning and, and growing potatoes, and so the overhead is definitely the daunting part of this whole deal. People like to look at a really nice and pretty potato. They want it to be a certain size. Uh, they want it to look a certain way. The skins need to look a certain way, no bruises. And so that's definitely something that is more difficult. Uh, when I raise barley, you're checking moisture and things like that. But as far as potatoes, we're in those fields every day, digging in them every day, looking for diseases, looking at quality, uh, what kinds of fertilizers to add. And so it's, it's not something that you can plant and not think about it for a while. I mean, they're always on our mind. I, I really look forward to the spud harvest, uh, mainly because it's it's so community driven. It seems like the community thinks about it, they're excited for it. I can come to work and my neighbors, we hire a lot of our neighbors to come and drive truck for us and to work. I'm actually the basketball coach in the town of Ryrie here. And so to be able to have some of my kids that I coach come up and clean a cellar out or, or work for me in potato harvest, it really gives me a good feeling that you're doing something for the community as they're doing something for you, I guess. And so, and it's a blast. You come up and everybody gets along and we just, people think about it and they love it. It's just a, a really good time. I was always taught that you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. With all this equipment and the overhead, you've got to have good people that can run this equipment. You've got to have good people that 
want to run it and have a passion for it. We've got the best operators and the tractors, we've got the best truck drivers, and people really care about it. And the full-time employees that are here with us, they want to be here, they enjoy it, they, they love farming, and that goes a long way. They have a passion for it. And then the people that we hire during harvest, their community, their family, and so when they come, they, they, they feel like they're just as much a part of it as any of us, and they take a pride in it. I think the biggest thing about farming is it is that satisfaction as you plant a crop or you plant a seed and you watch it come out of the ground and you work so hard and then you go to the harvest and you see what you've done. You see that you've created something and provided food for families across the world. And that's probably the coolest part is when you're at harvest and you pick up a potato off the line and you look at it and you know it could end up on somebody's plate on the other side of the country. And for me, that's so gratifying, that's so huge. Uh, that's just, it's an amazing feeling to be part of growing safe and good food for the world.